Hello and welcome back to another video. This problem, we're given this diagram where we have MQ and NR intersecting at point P, right there. We have NP is equal to QP, two sides that are equal there, and MP is equal to PR, so we have these two sides are equal there. So we're asked to find the measure in degrees of angle QMR. So that angle right there. So the first thing we need is to say, okay, we have this straight line here, where if you can think of this as point P, we're ignoring this line out here, although I can just draw it, right? And we have this 60 degree angle right there. And since they form a straight line, this angle plus 60, um, which is, this is angle MPR, plus 60 degrees have to equal 180 degrees because they form the line, right? A line is 180 degrees in the same way this is something like 135 and this is 90. The f just straight line all the way out is 180 degrees. So MPR plus 60 degrees is equal to 180 degrees. Subtracting 60 degrees from both sides, these cancel out and you get angle MPR is equal to 180 minus 60, which is 120. So. Now we have an isosceles triangle. So we know that this angle, which is, so this is angle QMR, right? And we're, let's just call it X, right? We're gonna be solving for X. We know since this is an isosceles triangle, the two base angles, so this angle and this angle have the same value. So X and X. So this angle N, N, or NRM is X and QMR is X. And we know the angles in a triangle have to add up to 180. So x plus 120 plus x has to equal 180. So x plus x is 2x plus 120 has to equal 180. If we subtract 120 from both sides, these cancel and you get 2x is equal to 180 minus 120, which is 60. Divide both sides by two, write this over here so we don't run out of room. You get x is equal to 60 over two is equal to 30. X is equal to angle QMR. So the measure in degrees of QMR is 30, gonna be your final answer. As always, thank you for liking and subscribing, and I'll see you in the next video.